You there. Come here. We're about to go on a journey to a time long past. A journey of adventure and friendship and bravery. And a little kid who made his home deep in the jungle. Our story spins itself in central India, deep in the Sioni forest, where countless wild animals lived by the law of the jungle. One of these was a lone black panther, Bagheera, who had escaped from the cages of the palace and finally roamed free. One summer evening, his usual solitary rounds brought him to an unusual sight in the jungle. A man cub in the jungle? Bagheera didn't know what to do. A wave of pity washed over him for the orphan, and he took him to his wolf friends, who had little cubs of their own. Who left you here all alone? The wolves raised him as their own. Bagheera often came to check in on little Mowgli, bringing Balu the bear to teach him the law of the jungle. Hey, little man. Show me something I taught you. <laughs> there we go. Just remember, if it sees you before you see it, it's gonna eat you, little man. All right. Are we going hunting today? Ah, uh, Bagheera. Just the panther I needed to see. I have news. Shere Khan has returned to our part of the jungle. What? That can't be. Mowgli is... Is in, in danger? Yes. The Wolf Council has discussed it. We no longer see it prudent to keep the man-cub here, in harm's way. But Akela, this is the only home the boy's ever known. And we can no longer protect him. Not from Shere Khan, whose only weakness is the Red Flower. Only man has the Red Flower. Precisely. He must go back to the man village. Gosh, Bagheera, shouldn't we be getting back from our walk? It's dark. Mowgli, I'm afraid we can't go back to the wolf pack. It's not safe for you anymore. I'm taking you back to the man village. The man village? But, but I want to be here with you and Balu. It's not safe for you anymore. Shere Khan has returned. Bagheera told Mowgli what the wolf council had decided. But Mowgli was not put off. He whined and protested. I can take care of myself, Bagheera. But to no avail. We're going to the man village and that's final. As they rested for the night, Mowgli stewed in the unfairness of it all. So much so that he didn't see Ka, the snake, slithering up behind him. What a taste is a snack we have here. Man cub. Who are you? My name is Ska. Trust in me, and we can slither away together. Mowgli was hypnotized by Ka and began following him. But just as Ka opened his mouth to swallow Mowgli whole, Bagheera awoke. Mowgli, no! The jungle is dangerous, man cub. You need to be with your own kind. Mowgli was not satisfied, and he wouldn't give in so easily. As Bagheera settled down to sleep, Mowgli plotted to stay in the jungle somehow. Left, left, right, left, left, left. Come on now, then. Suddenly, Mowgli had a bright idea. He scampered up to the herd and joined them. He could make his escape and be protected. They hadn't gone very far when Bagheera awoke for the second time to find Mowgli gone. Oh, I'm getting awfully frustrated with this panther and man-cub chase. Keep in mind, fellows, we're the elephant patrol. Colonel, stop! Stop! I say halt! What's this rubbish, Bagheera? I give the commands around here. Awfully sorry, Colonel. But there's an imposter among you, the man cub. Sacrilege. An imposter? Let me see. You, at the back. Where's your trunk? Um, sir. I, uh, sir. I'll take him off your hands, Colonel. Never in my 45 years. <sighs> the insolence. That's it. We're going right now before anything else creeps around the corner. Where are we going, Bagheera? I told you the man village to keep you safe. And I told you I'm not going. Oh, you most certainly are. They went back and forth, but both were adamant. Their loud arguing carried through the jungle and attracted someone they both knew pretty well. Balu, it's you. 
Balu, it's you. It's me. What's going on here? I'm taking Mowgli back to the man village where he'll be safe. The man village? That's a horrible place. They'll ruin him. Yeah, I want to stay here with Balu. You can't stay here. Shere Khan will find you. Oh, Baloo can take Shere Khan, can't he, little man? Yeah. hey -ya! You know what? Fine. I'm done. You're on your own, Mowgli. Ah, old bag you will cool off. It's you and me now, Mowgli. All right, I'm gonna stay in the jungle forever. Balu, promise me I'll never have to go to the man village. Are you comparing me to Bagheera? Nah, little man. You're with me now. It wasn't long before Balu was back to teaching Mowgli the laws of the jungle. But soon, one day when Balu was distracted, a monkey who had heard of the man cub in the jungle appeared and snatched Mowgli away. What are you doing? Mowgli! They carried him through the trees all the way to the palace of their leader, King Louis. See, King Louis was an orangutan who desired to walk among men by learning the secret to making fire. Man Cub, I've heard much about you. Who are you? Where am I? I am the King of the Monkeys, but with your help, I could be more. I desire the secret of the Red Flower. I don't know what you mean. I know you know how to make it, Man Cub, just like all the rest. So tell me. I don't know how to make it. I've been in the jungle my whole life. Don't lie to me, boy. Mowgli, frightened, began running, but the orangutan gave chase. He ran and ran, but King Louis' palace seemed to go on forever. Meanwhile, on the other side of the jungle, Balu had enlisted the help of Ka, the snake, in going to rescue Mowgli. He knew King Louis and his tricks, and he was going to protect Mowgli like he promised. They ran and slithered to the ruins. I'm coming, Mowgli. Trust in me. Trust in me. Such a silly slime ball. Ka had the Monkey King hypnotized. You okay, little man? Yeah, I'm all right. Don't you worry. Well, you really had me worried. We should rest now. You've had a long day. But Balu could not rest. Bagheera's words kept playing in his mind. He was right. He couldn't keep the man cub safe from the jungle. He knew the next morning was going to be difficult. Hey, Mowgli, get up. I gotta talk to you. <sighs> What's up, Balu? Now, don't go taking this the wrong way, but I don't think you should stay with me anymore. Huh? What do you mean? I can't protect you from the likes of King Louie, let alone Shere Khan. I think we should take you back to the man village, like Bagheera said. Balu, you promised you... You promised me I wouldn't have to go. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Now, Mowgli, wait. Uh, wait! Balu couldn't keep up with Mowgli's determination. As he ran, his destination was made clear in his mind. He had no other choice. He needed to defeat Shere Khan. And the only way to do that was the Red Flower. Panicked, Balu had gone to Bagheera for help and told him everything. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Together, they tore through the jungle for someone who could help. This is Balderdash. Highly irregular, you know. But, yes, the Elephant Patrol is fantastic. I'll tell my men to be on the lookout for the, the little scoundrel man-cub. Thank you, Colonel. With Shere Khan on the prowl again, he's really on his own now. If we don't find him... Oh, Bagheera, you've said too much. For nearby, hiding within the grass was Shere Khan herself, listening to every word. And now Mowgli was completely alone. Meanwhile, Mowgli had successfully stolen fire from the man village and was now stealing his courage to face Shere Khan. Little did he know that he wouldn't have to search very hard. Hello, man cub. It's about time we met. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, you should be. Or don't you know what happened to your parents? I don't care. I'm not afraid. Oh, you men. You're all the same. <laughs> Balu, you're here! As expected, Balu didn't last very long in that fight. But it gave Mowgli enough time to run. Except he ran towards Shere Khan and tied the red flower to her tail. Ah! Man cub! What have you done? Balu? Are you okay? Balu? Mowgli, it's okay. He's in a better place. No! Balu! I comforted him as much as I could. 
But just as we were leaving... <coughs> I was pretty good, wasn't I? Balu, thank God you're okay! <laughs> oh, it'll take more than that to take this bear down. And so, Mowgli was reunited with Balu and Bagheera, back to learning the laws of the jungle and getting into all kinds of trouble. He still wondered about his human parents like he used to, but now he knew he had a family in the jungle, from the wolves that raised him to his best pal, Balu. I don't say this often, man cub, but well done. Ah, uh, you know it's all that learning for me that really did it. <laughs> sure, Balu, that's what it was. After fighting tooth and nail to stay in the jungle, it paid off. This little ten-year-old had bested a tiger just by being brave and loving his friends. It is now time, my listeners, for us to leave the Sioni Forest. Until our next story. Hi, everybody. I'm back to tell you that if you want to enjoy this spooky season with your own shadow puppets, we've got you covered. It's easy to make this bat and this ghost at home yourself. You will need a pair of scissors, scotch tape, two pencils, a hole punch, your scrap cardboard, and of course, your printouts. All you have to do is print out the shapes of these guys, which are in the PDF in the description of the video. Cut them out. Then, get any old cartons you have lying around and trace the cutouts onto the cardboard. This next part is a little harder. Use a big set of scissors to cut the shapes out from the cardboard. Don't worry about getting it too smooth because you can smoothen it out later with a small set of scissors. I am now going to show you on paper how to make these eye holes. Use your hole punch to make holes approximately around the eyes and then repeatedly punch it around to make the hole even bigger. Don't worry if you're not able to make the mouth hole because it looks great without that too. Get any popsicle sticks or pencils that you have lying around and tape them to the back of your puppets, like so. For the best results, use a thin white sheet and a bright lamp behind it, keeping your puppets close to the sheet. Have fun and enjoy scaring your friends from a distance this Halloween.